You can send a letter with a guy, even on Erev Shabbos, even close to sunset. Meaning it's still daytime and he was able to leave the house before it was sunset. This is only true if he made a set fee for delivering the letter. And also on the condition that the Jew did not explicitly tell the guy that I want you to deliver it on Shabbos. In low katas, if he did not make a set fee, so then it depends like this. Elok via beidayar bemasa. If there's no beidayar in the city, a beidayar is perish ish yodua shekol tzav elok yuvol v'mashal chini shushuach. Elok is some type of government official that collects all of the mail and delivers it all. So then, if there isn't such a person, if there is not such a person in the city, also the shulach afilu yemishin. You're never allowed to send a letter with a guy, even on the yemishin. We have to do a kitzitza. Because otherwise we have no idea when the guy and how he's going to find us and if it's likely going to do it on Shabbos. And therefore he can only do it if he made a kitzitza, and which turns us into Kabbalah, like we've seen in the earlier Simanim. The Ikviya Beidor Bemas, if there is however a set Beidor in the city, and you can send it even on Erev Shabbos, as long as there's enough time for the guy to reach the house that is nearest to the wall, um, of the city that he's being sent to. And therefore, once he gets into that city, then um, then he'll be able to uh, give this over to the, uh, the, the postal service and they'll be able to deliver this. Some permit this, however, even without setting a fee, without the set uh, postal service, as long as he does not do it on Arab Shabbos, he starts out from Yom earlier. And if it's necessary, one can rely on this shita, um, and as if, and uh, meaning that he's not able to make a kitzitza, so he would be able to do this. Um, and a number of discussions in the post and about um, details regarding this um, modern uh, the postal delivery service and so on. In Hisna, if he made a tchad that he's going to pay him. He didn't specify how much, he just said he's going to pay him. It's as if he said a set price. That he will pay him. And he's working therefore for his own salary. If he just did it, even though the guy might think that he's going to get paid, but we never spoke it out. Therefore, it's also the Sam Chadaite. If he didn't really have Sam Chadaite, but he's doing it for himself. He really thinks he's doing it for Yisrael. I maybe he'll get a benefit from it, but he's really doing it for the Yisrael. Im sechar liyamim. If he hired the guy for a number of days, davar katsu b'chol yim ba lichasu b'chazvasa. Pay him a set fee each day of his trip. Ela she'enu makbed imo masilich. I don't care what day you choose to to go, but it's a two-day trip. I'll pay you this much. A three-day trip, this much. Im who better of Shabbos also. If he made this type of deal on erev Shabbos, would be also. It looks like he sent him to work on Shabbos. Um, if the guy is doing this for free, he's not getting paid at all. I feel in the sun like Erev Shabbos. Well, even if I gave it to him an Erev Shabbos to be permitted, the guy is working by himself. He's just doing it for the favor to the Yid. Why does he do a favor to the Yid? Because the Yid did something for him, and, and this time he's repaying it to every day, Kilo Katsats. And therefore, it's like they made a Katsitsa already, whatever benefit for this uh, for this free gift that he's, that he's offering him. However, there are those who argue on this. If he does it for free, it's Asr. It's good, says Gurama, to be Machmer. In this case of a Makam Shinin, the Master of Israel. However, if the guy initiates this and he offers to do it for free, in that case, it's certainly the case that the guy is, is relying on the, the fact that he got some favor in the past for the Yid and he's not doing it for the, the hope for a Schar and the Motor. If the guy is anyway going to this other place, he sold this in the Geretz and the Yid gives him a letter to bring there. Motor will go down there, be completely motor. Someone who has a Gaish employee who works for a year or more. Also, the Shalchab Shabbos for years, you cannot send him to do work for you on Arab Shabbos, even to deliver um, the letter. Because the, the fact that he got his, uh, and the fact that he has a set salary does not change this, and it's like a wrecking case of low katsats.
If this is his private messenger service, then he So we get into that that we saw before in Sinarish Mamdalad about someone who is hired to do a particular work on Shabbos. Yeah, there's a lot of discussion about modern um, applications of Samacha to uh, to various uh, government or private entities that do message delivery, mail delivery, and uh, we'll need to uh, discuss with the Rav about the different uh, practical applications of these Samacha.